All right, in this video, we're going to name and measure angles. So let's get started. Here's a basic angle. Uh, that it has three ways we can name it. So the first way you can name an angle is by the vertex. So right here, that's the vertex of the angle. And so you could just call this angle B. So this symbol out in front specifies that we're talking about an angle. So angle B is one way to do this. Another way to name this is to name name it by the th the sides of the angle. So again, you want the angle symbol to say we're talking about an angle. And then you could name this angle C B D where the vertex is in the middle. So I went C B D in that direction. You could also name it angle D B C. So start with the D and go the other direction. Those are the only three ways to name angles. So I caution you, this doesn't work. So let's say I went B C D. Okay, that angle isn't even represented here. B C D. I would have to complete this, and that angle would be right here. So there's B, C, D. So this does not work to name that original angle. All right, so that's kind of the basics of it. Now, that angle symbol out in front, that's another thing. When you're first learning this, you'll forget to put on there. You might just quickly say, oh, that's angle D, B, C. Well, that's how you name planes in geometry. So this doesn't specify the angle. We're, right now we're talking about the plane DCB. So again, you've got to have that angle symbol out front. Don't have to, but, but it it's very specific and tells us that we're dealing with an angle. All right, so let's try another one. Or let's go ahead and try and measure this angle. So here you have that same angle, and we have a protractor. So if the first thing you do is you line up the vertex with the center of the protractor and line up one of the sides. Now, if you want, stop the video and tell me how many degrees approximately this angle is. Because a lot of people will make mistakes right here. with Because the, there's two, notice there's two sets of numbers. And oftentimes people when you're first learning angle measures, don't know which ones to use. All right, so if you're back with me, I'm going to go ahead and pull this around. And so this angle looks like a 45 degree angle. So we're, we're on this inside set of angles. So from here, whoops. So from here to here. Made me go outside there a little bit. But notice this outside set, you know, from 140, 170, 150, those. Okay, that would be if we were going around the, and had an obtuse angle and going around the outside or starting from the left and going right. Here, we're starting from the right and going left. So it's, we're using the inside set because here's where our, our initial side or initial ray begins. It all depends on where your initial ray is. Okay, so let's try it with a slightly larger angle. So here's uh, angle angle P, or let's practice naming it, angle A, P, K. And notice this time my initial ray, A, is pointed to the left. So we'll go ahead and line up the center, the vertex, and the initial side and go ahead and tell me what what you think this angle is how many degrees is it you know pause the video all right so if you're back with me notice my zero is right here on my initial ray and so we're going to follow this outside set of angles and it looks like we're at 151 degrees as opposed to 29 if you go the other direction. So this is a 151 degree angle. 
All right. So that's a little bit of on the use of a protractor. So let's see, let's make this a little more complicated in terms of naming angles. So let's say I wanted to name this angle right here. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can name that angle. All right. Now, this one, because there's lots of angles involved here, we're going to have to name this angle D E B or angle B E D. And those are the only two names I could give that angle. For instance, we can't say angle E in this case, name it, naming it by the vertex, because notice how many angles are here. There's an angle, there's an angle, the blue one's an angle, here's an angle, the straight line is its own angle, called a straight line, or a straight angle. So there's lots of angles with angle E, so we have to be specific in this case, and we're limited in how we can name it. We can only name it by these two either angle DEB or angle BED. Those are the only two names for that angle. All right, so let's try another one. All right, let's try, uh, now that you've got that kind of figured out, let's try from here to here. So go ahead and name that angle. And stop the video, name it yourself, and then start the video again. So in this case, it's angle A E C, or the other name for it would be C E A. All right, so that's how you'd name angles and the, just the basics of it. The next thing we could talk about is some of the tools out there on the internet that we can uh, use with this. The first tool I use with angles is uh, GeoGebra. So you can go ahead and if you've never done GeoGebra before, just Google GeoGebra right here is the how you spell it. And when you click on it, you can go straight into geometry, and you have uh, a blank sheet. I've already got one going here, so I'm going to leave it up. So I put in um, a set of lines and made some angles. Uh, won't go into that necessarily on this in this case, but. Um, so let's say we want to measure this angle down here, this E A D. So GeoGebra has an angle measuring tool, and you name it just like, or you you measure it just like you name it. So um, I'm going to start here with D, then you click on E, and then you go or A, and then you go to E, and so that's a 38.8 degree angle. And if you notice, uh, GeoGebra also uh, names it with the Greek alphabet alpha, and it goes through all of them. So this next angle it would name will be called beta. So we'll go ahead and measure another angle. And uh, so let's say we wanted this angle CAD. So the other thing is, I think I'll, yeah. All right, so right there it is. So CAD. So notice there's beta, so that's a 141.2 degree angle. And what's kind of cool is that is always what that angle is, no matter how you change it. Okay. I'll take those angles off. Now, you got to be careful with GeoGebra, because if you go the opposite direction, and not that you need to be careful, but let's say you wanted this bigger angle out here. Um, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, there we go. So there, notice I went, instead of going D-A-E, I went E-A-D. And it gave me the what's called the major arc, or the major angle in this case. So it's 321.2 as opposed to the 38.8 or whatever it was inside of here. Uh, if you want that inside angle, you just got to go in the opposite direction. Yeah, 38.8. So together they make 360 degrees. They make a full circle. So there's GeoGebra. A couple others that are just kind of fun. This is called the uh, Angle Estimation Game. And there's the website, nrich.maths.org slash 1235. 
Um, but anyway, you might be able to just uh, Google uh, angle estimation game, and it should come right up. But it's kind of neat. You just tap like it wants a 55 degree angle, so you tap, and you tap where you think 55 degree angles is. Well, I did 41 degrees, so I only got two points. Didn't do real hot on that. I was 15, 11 to 15 degrees off. Um, so now it wants a 37 degree angle. Tap, tap. Ooh, I didn't do bad. 31 degrees as opposed to 37. So I could use some work to get better. So anyway, that's the, and you can change the levels. And then the other one I'll point out to you is called Kung Fu Angles. And again, you could probably just Google search Kung Fu Angles and come up with it. But it's just kind of a cute one. Um, so we'll select a difficulty level one. And, uh, and again... It's just a fun one. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, all right. So it wants, I'm not sure. Let's see, level one. Oh, how many degrees is this? Oh, so, um, so you just enter what angle you think that is. So let's get it wrong because it's kind of cool. So that looks like a 30 degree angle. So he stabbed me because I got it wrong. <laughs> And I'll let you play around with that and figure out uh, the angles that are there. That's part of the fun of it. So, so that's basic angles and some ways that you can get better at naming them and, and learning them. And uh, I hope this helps, and see you next time.